The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 719 here on this Tuesday evening. All is quiet for us. It's a clean sweep and it's going to be quiet all night long. Let's show you future cast and friends. You'll notice even though we're going to be dry, we may have a little bit of cloud cover every now and again here as we go throughout the overnight tonight. Ditto for tomorrow. I think tomorrow's going to be partly to at times mostly sunny. It's going to be a very, very nice day tomorrow, but it's not going to be the type of day where you look up to the sky and you see nothing but pristine blue skies from sun up until sundown. There will be a little bit of cloud cover every now and again on Wednesday. Wednesday night, we're going to be, I think, uh, fair for the most part. And then Thursday, we'll probably see a little more cloud cover than what we have out there for Wednesday. We'll call Thursday a mix of sun and clouds, okay? So again, Thursday, a little more cloud cover than Wednesday, but there's only a minimal chance for a stray late-day shower in the mountains come Thursday afternoon. I'm thinking the New River Valley probably has the best chance uh, for a rogue shower uh, going into Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. I think as you go towards Lynchburg and Southside, I think you're going to be dry on Thursday. All right, temperature staff for us right now, 60 in Hot Springs, lower 70s still in Lexington, Lynchburg. You're still 75 in Martinsville. That's the hot spot tied with South Boston. But look at the NRV, 64 Withville, 63 in Independence and 65 in Pulaski. It's really, really pleasant outside right now. All right, friends, let's talk tomorrow in the Roanoke Valley. We're forecasting a high uh, about 78 NRV Blacksburg areas in and around Parisburg. You're looking at a high about 73 Lynchburg 77 and in the south side zone. We're forecasting high about 78 degrees, including for you folks in Danville. That's about 7 to 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Anytime you're in mid August or uh, during the second half of August and you have temperatures looking like this. You're living right again. Average highs virtually everywhere in the 80s. So my advice is get outside and enjoy tomorrow. Get outside and enjoy really the rest of the work week. I think by the time the weekend rolls around and as we go into next week, the heat and humidity come back into play. It was a little bit on the breezy side today. We right now have wind sustained anywhere between about 6 and 12 miles per hour. Strongest wind as we speak out of the northwest at 16 in Hillsville. But as we look at the wind tomorrow, Sustained winds only about three to seven miles per hour, so I don't think that the winds are going to play an important role in our forecast come Wednesday. For tonight, 54 is your low. Skies will be fair for the most part. Cool, comfortable outside. And then for the day tomorrow, looking at highs about 78, partly to mostly sunny, very pleasant out there, no doubt. And in that seven day forecast, you'll notice temperatures climbing 83 Friday up to 89 Sunday, 90 on Monday and Tuesday. We're for the most part dry here Wednesday through Sunday, but by early next week, the chance for some hit or miss thunder showers will increase once again.